Hey guys, this is the Mime Chef. Just want to share something with you today. Um, I've just uh, picked some of these squash, the uh, actual plants, um, have done really well. Uh, we had some rain the other day and um, the actual stems of the squash were starting to get rotten so I've, uh, I've actually uh, picked some of these uh, because I think they're ready to come out. And what I've discovered is uh, about 20% of these have actually got some uh, grub damage. Um, now that, that one's obviously very obvious, uh, but on uh, some of the other ones it's not quite so obvious. There'll be, um, it's quite difficult to tell the difference between a small blemish and, um, and whether the worms actually made its entry hole. Uh, that one's obviously quite obvious because you can actually see the hole, but um, on some uh, some of the other ones, um, you know, you've got to be really careful to distinguish what the difference is between a blemish and a, and a worm hole, because obviously you want to get the worm out, and then you're going to have to process these. Um, and obviously, the ones with the blemish, you'll probably uh, they'll be fine. You'll be able to get away with it. See, there's um, there's a worm hole in that one, so. Um, so yeah, these uh, these guys are um, you know are in twenty percent of these. So what I'm going to do with these is actually process these ones. Um, I'll um, I'll probably cook these uh, spaghetti squash um, like I usually do with some butter, and then I'll scrape them out and put them in a jar and seal them off with some butter, and then I'll can them and put them in the fridge and see uh, see how that goes. Not tried that before, uh, and the other ones that uh, don't have any holes in whatsoever, I shall put in the coolest closet in the house and uh, see how how long they last. Uh, they should last through till uh, through the winter, through to the spring, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. So um, yeah, I just want to share you uh, share this with you. Uh, watch out for these guys. Um, obviously, if you don't pick them up, these guys are going to completely mess up your uh, stored squash uh, and then uh, you're not going to have anything to eat and um, they can really spoil your, spoil your storage so um, the places that I've found them usually are where, where they actually the squash is sat on the ground um, in the stem if there's been any rot in the stem they've got in there and then also uh, where the stem uh, meets the actual squash, I found a few holes in the top there. It's obviously the areas of weakness where they can, um, you know, the easiest place for them to get in, really. Um, so, um, yeah, watch out for that. And obviously, with the trained eye and uh, a bit of experience, you'll be able to quickly tell the difference between um, just a blemish and an actual wormhole. What they tend to do is they'll burrow, burrow straight in and then pile up any uh, squash behind them to keep keep them moist and then um, so there's like a little pile of, of I guess it's um, stuff they've chewed on or digested or it's gone right through and I'm not sure but they pile it up and uh, that one's just a blemish uh, where one of them's tried to chew and then stop. Uh, so you just have a poke around and um, and um, make sure there's no worms in there. But uh, obviously that could uh, that will probably rot. So I'm going to have to uh, put that one in the fridge and I'll process that tomorrow. Any dry blemishes will be fine. Like that one there, it's just like a bit of canker, just a bit of damage that the the squash has healed up itself. And as long as it's dry, um, they'll be fine. So uh, I'll just go in the fridge. Uh, so uh, yeah, out of that lot there, I've got this, uh, those four uh, and some small uh, acorn squash there. Uh, that's it really. So it's probably actually less than 20, 10 percent. It's probably about uh, 20 percent. It's probably about 10 percent. So um, not too bad. And plus, uh, none of that will get wasted. It'll all get canned up. Okay. Um, this is the Mime Chef, signing out.